Welcome to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez and this is your channeled message for May 13th through to the 19th. I'm looking at my calendar here to the side. Today uh, is May 4th. I do the videos in advance, uh, but I connect with the information that they're bringing uh, forward for that week um, as I'm doing the videos. So with that, um, <clears throat> all right, before I begin even, um, I'm going to go into uh, my ETS session. Uh, that is a free energetic transmission session, big mouthful, uh, that will be up from the 13th, 14th, and 15th. And it is free for those three days. Thereafter, it goes into my online store, which is called ETS Now, which is on my website, all listed in the credits. And uh, you can purchase it if you really like it, etc. And there are many others on there that uh, you might find suitable. I also have a lot of specials going on this month for um, readings. And uh, it, it's in the area where it says specials. Uh, I'll also put that in the credits. And, uh, and also for your own private ETS session whereby I'll move uh, ener energy patterns that are... Um, that, that uh, are specific to you. You know, only you know what you might be dealing with, uh, but usually it's very interesting because as I go in to do these sessions, someone uh, might have three different things that they want to work on, but as I work on one, it's like all the others are, are balanced out. Um, <clears throat> and usually you'll feel and experience the clearing in real time and also have the, uh, you know, our virtual reality of, of the experience of, of seeing things shift and change because when um, these uh, you're in resonance with patterns that don't serve your highest highest self you're also not in um, harmony with uh, all that that wants to come in to serve you and work with you um, although you are the vehicle so your vehicle has to be lightened up okay you have to be in that frequency all right so with that, let's go into, we're going to start with the 13th, 14th, and 15th, which is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Well, okay, they're just right away, they're saying, this is like a misnomer, quit not listening. All right, that's just a double negative. All right, in other words, you're in your own head, you're not listening. Um... I also see that many of you have like, I, it's a, so much that you want to express. <clears throat> and I want to say with love, some of this uh, might be termed what we would call negative. All right. But if it just sits there and it's just building, 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 and it's not expressed in some way, whether you're going to journal it out, you're going to go for a walk and just talk out loud to yourself, or you're going to talk to a friend that you uh, have comfort with. And, 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 you know, none of this has to make sense in our, in, in your mind. It is what you're feeling and it does need to be expressed. And you can do that also through artwork, through, um, through just physical exercise. But I'm seeing that a lot of this is building up and it's becoming, uh, uh, it seems to be becoming like a block. In other words, um, this is a strong power center. It's a strong flow area. And I'm speaking of the throat chakra. Okay. And, uh, I see it though kind of sitting up a little bit higher in here. So for a lot of you, you need a lot of soothing, a lot of healing, a lot of nurturing, and a lot of love. Uh, so know that that is coming to you. You can also ask your guides and teachers to step in and assist you with releasing those patterns. Um, that's why art is really good for that. Uh, and it's not where you sit down, you go, well, I'm going to paint a flower. Just let yourself flow. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be an artist. You just need to have a place for expression because that's what this is, is expression. I also see that a lot of you have tools in your spiritual toolbox that you have not been accessing. Um, you know to do certain things, whether it's meditate or um, talk to uh, someone that um, you have comfort with or even just sitting and talking to your guides, uh, your meditation um, practice, etc., you know, uh, there, there's a lot that you're not using that you know to use. So um, <clears throat> don't ignore the obvious. I, I'm hearing too, don't ignore the facts, okay? And the fact is, is that you're blocked and you're pissed off. And so you need to move this energy straight up, all right? <laughs> all right, let's see here. Um, hmm. 
I um, also see some new lines of, um, there's some new learning. I see there's some new learning and some new channels for some new learning. There's so much out there right now. It's really wonderful uh, because uh, we have the time to, to get to know ourselves a little better, to learn something that we've been wanting to learn, to um, put something into practice. Uh, so I see this. Uh, new knowledge and new, um, because they're showing me like a, a yellow rope. And so I see it's kind of uh, a network is what I feel in um, a group. And uh, so there's some sort of coming together and learning that I see for you that is going to be, that is quite beneficial. Um, I also see that some of you are going into some um, habits, uh, whether it's the food habit or um the drinking or whatever it is, you know, um, spending money, you know, we think some people are, you know, like, oh, we can't spend money and other people are just really hard at it and hard at that. Okay. Uh, they're still online shopping, whatever, but whatever it is that, you know, is your, uh, go-to for ignoring yourself and ignoring your feelings. Um, that's where these habits of uh, suppression or, or, or avoidance come in. And many times they come in because we don't know a different answer. All right, you're using the answers that you do know, but you there are other answers. And I'm going to do a plug. My ETS sessions are very good for this because Spirit will look at all this. They know you. They know what you need before you even ask. All right, but it will help. Uh, we can just go in and kind of clear that in real time so that you're not um, having that avoidance. <clears throat> all right, let's see. I also just see a lot of energy coming in too. I don't feel like the energies are like amped up and you're agitated for no reason. That's not it. It's that there is a tremendous amount of good, healthy, high level healing energy coming in and um, energies that are here to support you in your healthiest self. So whatever has not been serving you, it's time to, to really address it, release it, don't ignore it and um, get about with this energy that is supporting you on this new happening, new beginnings, all right? Because it's very supportive right now. All right, and I also wanna say with love, um, it's time to also quit being an armchair uh, quarterback. Um, in other words, um, you know, uh, being the narrator of what you think is happening or how you think it's happening, um, you know, uh, it's like on the sidelines, we can spend a lot of time projecting different um, opinions and ideas and things that we find to be truthful every day. Every day, I have been getting um, messages from people telling me different things that, uh, you know, um, that are their uh, perceptions of reality or what is happening. It's not that I don't, uh, um, that I'm not in alignment with some of it, but... For the most part, I clear that slate and I really just listen to spirit um, because truthfully, that is someone else's opinion regardless. All right. So we really have to sit with ourself and our body temple right now and get clean and get clear. You have to know how you feel. And um, regardless of, of what you think you might would do externally, it has nothing to do with external has everything to do with what's in here what's in here work right here with you boy they're going right into the punch today <laughs> all right we're going to go then um <clears throat> i'm sorry to the uh 16th and 17th which is saturday sunday all right for some of you i feel as though you have achieved some goals that you already set out to achieve and i see you kind of um it's almost like throwing a dart at a bullseye and there's many darts in the center of that bullseye. And so you're taking all those darts out and they're saying that what you, what you aim for, you received, you got, but now all of a sudden it's also to some of you are having this reflective state of, um, how maybe you didn't even know yourself enough to know what it was that gave you happiness or what you really wanted to fulfill within yourself. Maybe it was somebody else's agenda, but whatever it is, this no longer is who you are or serves you. So you're changing things up. It's, um, I do see a lot of more spiritual healing coming in. Um, that means just you getting more soul centered. 
You know, your soul has been around many lifetimes. You learn to listen to that, flow with that energy. Your body is an indicator. It will tell you if you're in alignment or not. But it's uh, almost as if, uh, well, kind of when people go to college and study to become a lawyer or something, only because their parents wanted them to do that, okay? And there's nothing wrong with being a lawyer going to college. Um, education is uh, always wise. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, or, or just uh, thinking you wanted to do something in life and, and then you realize, I never, I just did that because I thought it was a goal or I thought that was who I needed to project really into the world rather than who you truly are. So it's really about getting real right now. We are getting into our truest self, they are saying. Your truest self. So allow those changes to take place and don't spend time berating or belittling the choices you've made. I'll tell you as somebody that is older that everything, every U-turn, every dark alley, everywhere I've been, all those things come back to serve me today. And Spirit will do the same. They will take whatever it is that, that you feel you've wasted time with or that did not really fully um, show up as who you truly are, or what you want to achieve in the world will uh, be used to serve you as you move up higher. And, uh, and, I, and when I say higher, I mean out of the dense vibrations and into the higher uh, energies of uh, the lightness of being. You know, th this can be so simple. It can be choosing a different food choice in the morning. It can be choosing to go for a 10-minute walk. It can be choosing to pick up a book you would have never read previously. And uh, this can also, and I don't want to just go off with, um, and I, I want to say this with love, but um, this does not have to be philosophical books. It could be that where you do decide, hey, I've always wanted to study law, and that's what I'm going to do. And so whatever it is, I see you moving in that direction and being supported. All right, <clears throat> let me see. Um, I feel like the night time uh, on the 16th and 17th, especially the 17th, there's something about the stars and the alignment of the stars or noticing the stars. Um, I also, uh, for some of you, uh, I do see the dark night of the soul. So, so kind of a resurgence, a, a rebirth, a resurrection. Um, you know, when our shadow self leaves, we, we were resurrected and we're brought into the, the who, more in alignment with who we are. Um, I also see uh, there's some opportunity I feel that you think that you're going to have around the 17th I'm seeing this, but I don't feel that the logistics are worked out. So um, in other words, don't, uh, you know how they say don't show your cards until, until you see things play out. Uh, this isn't about keeping a secret. It's allowing what is to continue to develop. <clears throat> so if you think you're going to do something and all of a sudden it's not working out, just let it continue to not work out until it does work out or until something else shows up differently. Don't be disappointed because um, there's something else being formulated and, and, and growing here. All right, we're going to look at the 18th and 19th. Well, I just hear choice. Life is all about choices. I feel all kind of butterfly right now. Butterflies and balloons. <laughs> Life is all about choices. Um, but also, too, they're saying that um, there are some of you that have uh, worked maybe in a physical capacity during your life. And they're saying that that you are no longer in resonance with that. Um, it's, it's like, I can do the work, uh, but that's not who I am anymore. Um, or I'm filling, trying to fill shoes that I don't fit into any longer. Uh, lots of great changes coming right now. This is a real uh, rebirth, resurgence, uh, regeneration uh, coming in. All right, and they're saying don't confuse confidence with application. Uh, so even though you may be confident, oh, I'm confident I can do it. Well, until you get out there and try to start doing it, you realize... I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, they're saying, uh, please utilize all the resources that are with you and around you to help you do what it is that you think you want to do. All right. So let's look at this as a whole, uh, the 13th through to the 19th. I'm hearing anchors away, uh, anchors away. Uh, this is uh, a military Navy 
uh, song. Uh, there's something to do with the Navy and um, an allegiance to the Navy and a respect to the Navy. Perhaps this has to do with the captain, or I don't know if it was captain, lieutenant, the commander of the ship, though, that was taken off. Perhaps we're going to see the Navy, which has been trying to overturn this, um, because I feel a lot of glory and um, high-level respect and allegiance to uh, those that serve uh, w within the, the Navy specific. Uh, uh, so, you know, we might finally see where the, the um, where he is reinstated, um, et cetera. Hmm. Florida's coming up. I hear and see something about 70%, 80%. I don't know what that has to do with 70%, 80%. Um, it's, it, I don't know why I'm hearing that. I do know that they've come out of quarantine. So maybe we'll see either the, uh, let's just say the results. Okay. But for some reason, I'm seeing 70 to 80 percent and something to do with Florida. And I do feel like it has to do something with the results of them coming out of quarantine early. Um, I'm also seeing something about Kentucky. Um, I feel like there's some sort of confusion there. Uh, I almost feel like my head, like there, there's... Um, There's just some sort of a, a real problem there, but it's all coming from a mental, uh, a mental level. Um, something has not been understood. Something has not been fulfilled. Something is not right, and it needs to be corrected. And um, I guess it's too, you know, you can close your eyes to something, but that doesn't mean it goes away. So this has to do with really, truly keeping your eyes open and addressing it. So there's going to be something about Kentucky coming out that way and also piggybacking now getting Alabama as well. So somehow it might relate to something in Alabama as well. All right, let's see. I also hear something about the reserves, uh, but I don't, I don't feel like this has to do with uh, military reserves. I feel like it has to do with reserves of uh, either... Of, of supplies, of a surplus. Um, I don't want to say surplus either because this is the reserves. So they, there is something that is has been, uh, that the, these reserves that are going to be tapped into and trickled down. Uh, it's going to be a trickle down. So there's something coming to the public that's going to be um, a, a reserve of, of something uh, that's going to, to assist the public. Maybe another, <clears throat> it's weird. I don't want to really say stimulus package because it doesn't feel like that because of the way they're saying reserves, but it's monies that are already there. Me, Donna, is having a different experience right now because of how I perceive the monies to be being backed. But whatever, it's called reserves. Uh, all right, let's see. Hmm. I see a lot more of you holding your head up high, feeling good, feeling alive, uh, feeling like I, I'm not hiding out anymore. Not that any of us are, but I do think that the um, the thought that, that, that I think people went to the opposite uh, of, of staying in their home, not realizing that if there was an access point to get outside to go for a walk, that they should have or could have been doing that. Um, but I just see their heads being held up high and like a good feeling like I'm alive again and I'm ready and, and just a good, um, I, I feel like there's so much clarity that's been coming in that those that are coming out awake or more fully awakened are going to be holding the vibrations much higher for others. Um, I do see, too, a love. Uh, it's like I see a linking of arms in love and in support for one another. Uh, so I see a true uh, um, community of care uh, being linked together and um, uplifting and holding the uh, space for humanity and uh, with love and with compassion, not with any specific agenda other than love and compassion. Yeah, I see a lot of pink and a lot of love coming in. So the, the um, I feel like the... Uh, 
the spirit world and our brothers and sisters, uh, you know, our other planetary brothers and sisters are, are really coming in and s bringing in this, um, this love. So we should be cushioned very nicely as we continue to process and get to know ourselves a little bit better, right? All right, with that, I want to say thank you. Namaste. Please share my videos. And um, I love your comments and your shares. And I appreciate all of you that have reached out. Namaste.